Okay. This one goes out to uh, uh, Zeke Geek One, uh, Zach. Uh, response to his hundred subs contest. Awesome that you got that many uh, people checking you out, man. So quick, and I really dig your philosophy. Um, I used to. I, I used to hold that same kind of manifesto as far as I don't want to spend more than two or three bucks on a record, but um, some music that I want to hear just isn't going to be available for that ever, so um, unless it's trashed. So, anyway. Um, so we'll start off. Uh, best deal that you ever got on a record. Um, the best deal that I have ever gotten on a record besides free records uh, which have been from the vinyl community, uh, which is fantastic. Love you guys for that. Um, is uh, this one? Um, I got it for fifty cents at a garage sale. Uh, this is Tortoise uh, with TNT. It's a double record on um, Touch and Go or Thrill Jockey. Sorry, uh, Tortoise. Uh, it's sometimes called, I mean, a lot of you guys may know them. Uh, these are part of a kind of a jazz slash kraut rock revival in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and so this is a really awesome record, and for the price, too. I mean, it's in really good shape. Um, and I see this record sometimes go on eBay for as much as like 75 bucks. So, really scored in the 50 cent thing. And, and the, the story behind it is um, the girl whose garage sale it was, it was her ex boyfriend's record. So, Hell hath no fury, like a woman scorned. Um, best cheap concert I ever went to. Um, I had played in bands in years. I haven't played in a band for about three years now, uh, which will be remedied this year. But <coughs> I got to open for um, some pretty neat bands uh, over the years. Uh, like, uh, one of my bands got to open for Guided by Voices twice. I mean, we were from Dayton, they were from Dayton. Um, got to open for High on Fire. Um, got to see Mastodon for like five bucks. Like when they were coming up. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like spending more than like 20 bucks on a show. So, um, it, a lot of my shows I've been to, I've been to hundreds, if not a at least a thousand by now. Um, yeah, I won't spend more than twenty dollars. And a lot of the times, it's local bands. Uh, I've been to tons of free shows, basement shows, things like that. But um, yeah, the guy to my voices thing, like playing with them, it's probably in, in my top, it's the top of my list uh, as far as cheap shows. And then seeing the makeup for the first time uh, back in like. 96 um, yeah that was that was huge for me okay an album finally an album that is so good it would be a steal at any price I cannot name one record that I would pay anything for um, it's just not in my nature I'm I'm cheap I mean I, I do spend I spend a great deal of money on records but um, any price that's asking quite a bit um, and I don't think any I don't even think any piece of art is really worth more than the price you want to put on it you know what I mean like um, yeah I mean I have this whole thing with it's something that's sprung up in me within the past few years like just thinking and trying to be philosophical philosophical about uh, musicians and what they actually deserve, you know, um, versus what they get. Um, like some of the people that sell millions of records, they really deserve to get all that money. I mean, it is art. It should be for everybody. Um, why are we paying so much money for it, you know? Like, but I guess the human ego comes into play and, you know, we have people that demand satisfaction but yeah one record I, I don't know I mean any of Ka Hawkwind's early catalog I think is worth 
paying like 30 bucks for, you know, for an album. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I personally, I mean, the, the most I've ever spent on one record is 60. And that's really as high as I'd like to go because, uh, I mean, in this day and age, you can hear any piece of music without having to hold the uh, tangible product like we like to do. Uh, I know there are people out there that are willing to pay 500, 1,000, and, and more for records, but that's not me. So, hope you like those uh, responses, sir. Um, love watching your channel, love, love your quest, and um, yeah, I mean, if you draw me, I'm just gonna leave it up to you, man, because I, I think your tastes are, you know, you got your finger on the pulse, and um, you're, you're an awesome watch, for sure. Um, I wouldn't call you a sociopath, though. <laughs> yeah, you seem like a decent dude. I'll talk to you soon, my friend.